I went to Tarragona to film one of the Spanish partners of the consortium. The role of the scientists here is to build the nanotubes from Belgium and Luxembourg into real devices that will react to gases. And over the three years of the project, to test how good their latest nanotubes are proving to be. Welcome to the University Rovira y Virgili, the public university of Tarragona. How does it begin here, this university? Okay, we have, we have started already uh, some work because we, we got uh, nanotubes uh, from, from Belgium uh, with uh, gold and silver clusters uh, attached to the, to the walls. And we have already produced the first sensors based on, based on this material and we have some preliminary results. So we have tested that they respond uh, to NO2, for example, and we have also tested the, their sensitivity uh, towards benzene. How is it that the detector will select benzene but not produce a signal to other gases around? What's the theory behind the idea that it will detect benzene but not the other gases? Well, the, the idea is that by, by selecting, by carefully selecting the, the metal uh, that will decorate the nanotubes, actually these this, uh, this tiny metal uh, nanoparticles will, will work as catalyzers and we have to tune the selectivity of this catalyzer toward benzene. This doesn't mean that uh, we'll, we'll end up having a sensor that is perfectly selective for benzene, but, uh, well, we have to... We, we know the environment, so where benzene will be produced, and we'll know what, what uh, will be the other interference species. So what we'll do is just making the sensor enough uh, or selective enough for, for this particular application. But this doesn't mean that the sensor won't respond uh, to any other gas. So it's, this is, this is uh, well, it's very difficult. I mean, making a sensor completely selective for benzene, I don't foresee that, that this uh, will be possible. So we have uh, two... Uh, Two researchers more involved here in, in the project. Uh, one is a, a postdoc. His name is, is Radu Ionesco. He's from Romania. And the other one, the PhD student, his name is, is Raduan Lecrip and he comes from, from Morocco. What they will show is how sensors are, are actually produced. So uh, I guess that, that you'll see uh, how the drop coating method is employed to to coat the comb electrodes. The nanotubes are made into a paste. And that is spread thinly onto some electrodes that are printed on a small square of plastic. And with electric leads attached, their resistance can be measured. They're put into a small, carefully controlled chamber, six or so of them at a time. And when all is settled down, a small amount of benzene gas, or whatever it is being tested, is taken from its bottle and injected into the chamber. The resistance change are the nanotubes reacting to the gases. This will be the equipment that, that is going to be used through, throughout the project. Uh, what kind of person? <laughs> I think that, uh, well, I like very much doing research, this is true. And uh, I don't have uh, a lot of time during the week to be at home. Apart from that, I also like uh, doing sports. And, and in particular, I'm very, very uh, keen on skiing and walking in the mountain, doing some climbing, go jogging at least two, three times a week. 
so I keep fit for what I like, that is uh, going to the mountains and all of this. How old are you, by the way? I'm 39. And I'll, and I'll be 39 at the time I'm, I'm getting married. <laughs> Tell me why you stayed single so long and why you're getting married now. Well, uh, it's, it's a combination of no, no, not finding the appropriate person <laughs> and, and working hard and finding excuses. <laughs> so it's, it's a, a mixture of, of everything of this. So, Do you think it will change your life? Yes, for sure. Uh, I mean, it's normal. I'm 39. It's, it, it, I cannot wait longer si since I try to have children. So this, this, I don't think that getting married will, will make a very, very strong change in my life. I think that when I have the first uh, child, it, it, this will make really a significant change in my life. How have your parents reacted to your decision to get married? Uh, <laughs> very well. Very well. In fact, I don't know how to translate this uh, in English, but uh, what, what my father said is uh, it was time to get married. <laughs>